The purpose of this training is mostly to clarify that in the world of high strength bolting, the correlation between a specific amount of torque and a specific amount of tension cannot be trusted. When we're working with structural steel or working in other similar industries that require bolt tension, we're dealing with such high levels of force that even the slightest variable can drastically affect the amount of tension that is created from a specific amount of torque. Um, our skid mores essentially simulate a bolted connection. So by using adapters to accommodate the diameter and length of the fastener you're working with, you can install it into the skid more and then you can tighten it using your installation method and the skid more will measure the amount of tension or the amount of clamp load that's created by the stretch bolt. So testing both together, meaning testing the integrity of the bolt and testing the method in which you're installing the bolt is called pre-installation verification or pre-installation verification testing or PIV testing. What you don't want to do is delay a project or delay a testing or not be able to test properly because you don't have the proper parts to execute the test. So it's important to understand what you need before going into a situation where you're executing a test. So now let's move on here and let's talk about the different installation methods. PIV testing this method not only confirms that the proper turn is being used, but that it's being marked correctly. So unlike the turn-based approach of turn a nut, TC bolts rely completely on torque to create tension. The pin is gripped and shears off, snaps off, when a specific amount of torque is reached by the tool. The calibrated wrench method is able to deliver correct tension in a fastener because it consistently creates a new torque specification that accounts for the unique variables of the installation solution that's being used. The value is consistently updated. In fact, it needs to be re-established uh, at least every day. So the last installation method we're gonna talk about is direct tension indicators. There's raised bumps on the outside or on the inside of the washer. You can see them in this image that are compressed as the tension is developed in the bolt. So at the end of the day, what testing is, is designed to do is help reduce or eliminate problems with installation. And what this training is intended to do is to avoid and eliminate problems with testing. 